all right guys welcome back another quick video now i think um later today i'm going to do another video and show some charts okay let me turn this down i'm gonna show some crypto charts okay now this is what i think this is solely my this is solely solely my opinion and some people may think the same way some people may not and just keep in mind i'm not a financial advisor okay i'm not here to tell you what to do with your money how to spend it what to buy or nothing so whatever i say don't just really base your decision on what i'm talking about okay but it's all up to you because you are an adult you make the choices on what you want to buy not me not no one else okay now this is what i believe we've all heard about amc squeeze the gamestop squeeze finger squeeze like all these stocks that people are saying well it's highly shorted it's um the hedge funds you know where are they getting all these shares and they constantly keep coming up with these synthetic shares right or they keep making these shares to place in the stock market or buy shares back or whatever they're doing like we have no clue honestly a lot of people on youtube that are assuming from whatever information they get like the stock market is supposed to run a certain way like this okay and there's supposed to be no other way that it's going to run but it's like when you hear these people say this and you look at the stock market it's not running how people say it's supposed to run especially people on youtube okay and then i noticed um even in the past me and a lot of other youtubers we we gather information from where we gather it from and we assume that the information we get is is true so we put that in our heads and we come up with our own presentation and we talk about we kind of regurgitate those same um beliefs okay and who knows if it's true or not some of it it is based on true facts but when we put that stuff information back out there it seems like the stock market is not acting the way that we think it's supposed to act okay it's not doing what it's supposed to do why is that we have no clue all we can assume is that the stock market is corrupt okay that's all we can assume and no one is doing nothing about it the average person like us we are following these beliefs that we can get rich off of certain stocks if it squeezes so we buying them and we're holding them and then we find out later that we're losing money pretty much everybody everybody that got in amc has lost money there's some that made money um just some that got out at a loss because they had a minimum of what they're going to lose like i did i got out of amc at 27 and like i said in my old videos i felt like amc was a long time ago when amc was reaching 27 i felt like amc was going to go to five dollars first i said nine and then i said six and i said five like i said it at the time i was getting out at 27 and look this is a lot of things happen split and everything stock split and it's back down it's up and down but but let me get right to the point. <clears throat> this is what I believe. I believe if you don't know the ins and outs of the stock market, if you don't know these um, type of scams, these type of, I don't know if I want, want to call it a scam, but if you don't know the game, that are these games that are being played in the stock market, you're gonna lose money. You're gonna be out of money. You're gonna be broke every single time you invest um what i found out is there's a lot of times people tell you stay away from penny stocks you 
you hear people, oh, I don't play penny stocks. I don't, I'm not doing that. You're going to lose money and, you know, they're getting delisted. It's the last of the last of the last. But then when you go look at these penny stocks, you look at the volume. The volume is extremely high. They've been training so many times over. And then there's people scalping penny stocks. So I kind of went towards the penny stock direction because I, I'd rather get more stocks for my money and a bigger bang for my money when if it does run up, okay? My, my thing is like, I try to get in and get back out on penny stocks. And I have to make sure they're not, they're um, still okay, they're still compliant before I get into some of them. If they're not compliant, you gotta be careful because they're gonna be delisted at any moment in time. Okay, now, let me get right to the point. I believe the average people like us, we're not gonna get rich in the stock market because we don't know how to operate the stock market. I solely believe, it's just my opinion, that there will be more people becoming wealthier or rich in the crypto market. It's because I've went through the ins and outs. Um, I went through the bad times of crypto, I went through the, the good times, and I've seen the history of it, and I kind of know how it operates, okay? And some of the um, holding periods, it could be a very, very long time. But if you know the crypto cycle, you can very easily make some money. You just gotta know when to buy it and when to sell it, okay? I do believe the average person there's gonna be more people making money on crypto than anything else. Now, if you're watching the crypto, just like the stock market, if you put money in the stock market and you're not doing like a scalping, daily scalping type deal, but you're putting in there that you're gonna get rich and you watch the stock or you watch the crypto go up and down on a daily basis, it's gonna scare you. It's gonna scare you because you're gonna think you're losing money, okay? You have to know the cycle. You have to um, be able to read the stock market. I mean, be able to read the crypto market. So it's like a long-term type of play. Like you buy it and you hold it or you sell it, you know, whenever. <clears throat> but I'm not trying to give people advice on this. I'm just giving my opinion. But I solely do believe more people is gonna make more money on the crypto market than anything else. I do believe that there will be people that become millionaires on the crypto market, okay? I truly do believe that now. After, after I done went through a lot of um, stocks, after I went through a lot of stocks, after I done went through a lot of um, crypto, I went from crypto to stocks and now I'm still in some stocks, but I changed my trading strategy and now I'm going back, I'm back into crypto because I feel like crypto is coming out of a bear market. I really think that's about to happen, okay? It's slowly, slowly waking up. Now you have to know your ins and outs on crypto too, okay? You gotta know what to buy, when to buy, and when to get out, okay? Um, I think on my next video, I'm going to tell you my one of the cryptos that I'm really, really keeping an eye on. And it's not Bitcoin. Bitcoin is just a guide, okay, for me. But that's all I wanted to say in this video. Leave your opinion in the comment section and um, I'll read it and I'll get back with you guys, okay? All right, see you guys in the next one. Take care, peace.